Hey everyone, this is Madeline with the Marin Child Care Council and HEAL. I'm here in my home garden and I wanted to talk to you about some of my favorite plants to incorporate in your own garden at home. So right now I'm sitting next to some calendula and calendula is a medicinal herb and a beautiful one to have in your garden. It is non-toxic. You can eat the flower petals, add them to salads, and they are really easy to grow. And as they start to grow, um, they'll disperse their seeds and volunteer. So we call them volunteers sometimes when plants will just grow in your garden without you planting. So another reason why I think calendula is great for all gardens is because they are drought tolerant. You don't actually need to water them a whole lot, which is great for here in California. They also supply great food source for honeybees and other pollinators. So with your children, you can see all the different pollinators that come and visit your calendula flowers. One fun fact about calendula is that it has a sticky resin to them. So as you were to pick a flower or hold it in your hand, you'll feel a sticky substance, and that's medicinal. It's great for cuts and bruises, and so what I like to do is collect some calendula with the children I'm working with, put it in a mason jar with some olive oil, and let it sit in the sun. That olive oil will be infused by the medicinal qualities that calendula has, and then you can add a little bit of beeswax and make your own boo-boo balm for when your kids end up getting hurt or scraping their knees. Calendula have these really unique different types of seeds within their seed pod. So they're really fun to look at with children and explore. These are the dried ones that are then ready to be thrown in your garden. And like I said, they really start on their own with not much tend, uh, tending and care. So go ahead and explore and add calendula to your own garden.